investigation of the transitivity relation in the natural language inference. The motivation of this work is a data-centric approach of improving model accuracy by improving data quality instead of improving the model architecture. So the idea is to improve data set with the transitivity relation samples to help machine learning to learn such dependencies. And alongside with enriching the data set, also investigate how good is a previously trained model in catching such relations. Uh, so what is the transitive relation? Uh, we can see on the left the, the formal definition and below the informal definition. And transitive relation means if there is any edge from one vertex to another, then it should be a pass from the one vertex to the second one. So if there are vertex from A to B and B to C, then it should be a vertex from A to C. It's a good example is uh, the uh, comparing operator of the numbers. Like if one, uh, if number A higher than, bigger than number B and number B is bigger than number C, that means that A and uh, number A is bigger than number C. Uh, because this uh, operator of comparing numbers is a transitive by definition. So what is the uh, natural language inference task? It's good it is a good benchmark for natural language understanding and basically uh, this task have two sentences and the, uh, uh, the task is to predict the label entitlement, neutral or the contradiction. Uh, the good example of the entitlement uh, can be um, I uh, was in Paris and uh, I visited France and we can infer that if I was in Paris, I visited France. We can infer that uh, from first sentence to another. It means uh, these two sentences have entailment relation. And contradiction, for example, if I, uh, I'm living in country A and I have never been abroad. And the second sentence, I visited country B. It's a contradiction because you cannot live in a country A and never been abroad and visit like another country. This is the contradiction. Uh, and uh, the neutral is like any sentence from uh, like I, I, that I uh, showed previously, and uh, like the second sentence can be like it's a good weather outside. It's basically like doesn't mean uh, there are any relation between it's a good weather outside and I visited France or like any other sentence. So this is the example of the neutral relation. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, uh, also. Uh, the, uh, to, to solve this task, model should understand the meaning of the sentences. Like it, it, it should uh, like have like a deep understanding of the context and the meaning to, to really like match correctly the sentences and classify by these classes like entitlement, contradiction and neutral. It'll be hard without understanding the meaning of the sentences. So what is the data set I, I was using? Is uh, This is the data set called multi-NLI and it is considered one of the largest uh, in a natural language inference and it uh, have like uh, different genres uh, and uh, um, it... Uh, so you, you can see on the on the picture on the right like there is different genres like fiction, letters, telephone speech and stuff like that and you also can see like a two sentences uh, premise on the left and the hypothesis on the right and the label between them like if there if there are neutral rela relation between them or there's contradiction relation between them like first sentence contradicts to the second one or there's entailment uh, between these two and so the first sentence uh, is called premise and the second one is called hypothesis and i would uh, call uh, like these sentences in this way, like a premise and a hypothesis in my next slides um, as well. So um, model that was used for this uh, research called Roberta is a deep learning model trained by Facebook and is fine-tuned on the on the data set that I showed previously. So it was tr uh, and it was like fine-tuned also by the Facebook. So basically it's a it's a pre-trained model. It's based on the BERT uh, architecture and it improved by like um, training on the more data and uh, removing next sentence prediction objective and changing mask pattern from the training data. So basically just improved uh, BERT architecture. 
so uh, transitivity relation for the natural language inference task. Um, um, on the right you can see uh, the rules that I created based on the domain knowledge and uh, um, these rules I'll be using uh, to create the data set uh, for transitivity relation based on the data based on the original data set. So if the, there is like first pair I have been to Paris and the second uh, first pair have two sentences I have been to Paris and the second sentence I have been to France and this is entitlement uh, and the second pair I have been to France and I visited France it also entitlement and you, you may notice that the uh, hypothesis of the first pair and the premise of the second pair are the same so we can match and this is I have been to France these are the same in these two two sentences so I can match by that and I can see that uh, if I have been to Paris it means I visited France this is also it should be like entitlement relations between the premise of the first pair and the hypothesis of the second pair and it showed on the on the rules on the right and similarly it can be explained for the like other rules as well and so uh, first uh, you can see this uh, there's original data set on the left and the constructed data set on the right and uh, on the original data set um, uh, there is like first pair and the second pair I align them horizontally because I wanted to create the transitivity relation between the premise of the first pair and the hypothesis of the second pair. Um, so um, to, to make like a transitive relation between these two, I need to select the sentences from the data set where the hypothesis of the first pair and the premise of the second pair are the same. So you can see the, the second line here, like, if I'm afraid not, sir, I don't think so. And the second pair starts from the I don't think so. So this is the same as uh, hypothesis in, in the first pair. And the second pair, like how I don't think so and I have no real idea. So we can have the relation between the premise of the first pair and the hypothesis of the second pair based on the matching of this I don't think so that appears in, in, two, in two pairs. Uh, so that's why I align them horizontally so we can, we can match them um, together and create the data set that I have on the right. So based on this matching I can create a transitive relation data set. And the label, the true label, I can uh, select based on the rules that I showed earlier like on the uh, on the slide earlier uh, we can select based on the uh, labels for pairs uh, I can select the, the true label um, for the transitivity relation between the first pair premise and the second pair hypothesis and uh, I highlighted uh, in uh, gray the invalid classification and you can see it, it classified uh, incorrectly in my created it just a sample of my data set uh, on, on the right uh, it's 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 classified incorrectly so the label true label and predicted are different and <clears throat> but also it has problems in classifying sentences even in the original data set so uh, what we can say from that so we can see that the constructed data set model have inaccurate prediction only in samples where uh, which were problematic for the model even on the original data set so every incorrect classification relates not to the nature of the transitivity relation that we're trying to understand but to the inaccuracy of the model on the original data set model on the like general NLE task so but all other samples it classified correctly on my constructed data set it classified correctly 
if those samples were classified correctly on the original data set. So it catched transitive relation pretty good. So we can see from that that uh, the, uh, the quality of the model is good in classifying transitive relation, in, in like catching transitive relation, except for the samples that was like inaccurate uh, in the original data set, um, which is like understandable because if it's classified incorrectly in the original data set, it cannot classify them correctly in a like constructed data set that I created based on the original one. And also it wasn't planned in the initial, initial scope, but I also checked if what if we swap the first and the second sentence. Um, and from that we can see that uh, <coughs> it uh, can classify uh, 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 so we're just swapping the first and the second sentence and uh, it can classify correctly uh, the uh, sentences if we swap hypothesis and premises uh, for example for class similar uh, we have accuracy on the original data set 98 but on the data set like a like another data set that I created where I swapped uh, hypothesis and premise, only accuracy is 33. And what does that mean? That the accuracy decreased by the number of three, by the factor of three. And th this means that the entitlement relationship is a directional and uh, compared to the another uh, classes like a neutral and the contradiction because the, uh, the accuracy decreased uh, vastly. Um, um, and this is not like inaccuracy of the model or stuff like that. This is, it, this is just the nature of the um, entitlement relationship. And we can see that from the, this classification uh, accuracies that I showed on the table on the right. Thank you.